Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm doing a little bit of shipping, just kind of like another uh, vlog style video. So yesterday night, last night, we did my Beanie Baby sale. It was a live sale, and that went really well. It was extended for longer than I thought was going to happen. I only planned on about 40 babies to be sold, but I sold all 111-ish of them that I had. Wow. So, what I'm going to be doing now is going through the Beanie Babies and putting them in their packages so I can send them off. Last night after the sale, I was able to go ahead and invoice everyone, which was nice. And I think I have most of the uh, orders paid, so that's great. And I can go ahead and start shipping them this morning. So, works for me. Uh, just a few people that I'm waiting on. Um, so, if I call your name, this is like class, if I call your name, um, well, I don't need to call your name, just so you know. Okay, and then, um, yeah, the email, but it's probably gonna be paid by the time this video goes out. But yeah, i uh surprised it went so smoothly, but let me show you. So on this table here, I have all these Beanie Babies, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start packaging these up. We started with like a smaller amount, see how they have numbers on them? It was very organized, and then all of a sudden, I ran out and people wanted more. Okay, so I went through my, my tote and we systematically sold all of them. And so these over here don't have numbers. So that's going to be interesting. But luckily, as Barb was writing things down, she put like what their names were. So at the bare, so I mean basically all I have to do is just look at the name on the tag. Like this one for instance is called Spot. So she wrote, spot on there that helps me out so i'm gonna go ahead and start packaging these first one up is an early bird so i have to find an early bird which is this one here i remember that's the early bird and it's sold so that's nice i'm putting them in these little poly bag mailers these are great they're affordable they're 10 cents each i buy them in bulk in there birdie so we're gonna do the angel bear the brown bear so that's this one angel bear then she got the brown bear number 18 which is where's 18 here it is blackie blackie the brown well blackie's a black bear not a brown bear but uh here it is 18. Goody, goody. And then we have number 32, Patriotic Bear. That's this one. It's easy when you have the numbers attached to them. And then she has number 69, Lucky Panda. So I just, here it is. This is Lucky the Panda. No, this is Fortune. Was there another panda called Lucky? Um... That was number 69, so let me see if it was written. 69. Barb just wrote panda. I don't think I have any other pandas. Let me double check. I'm not sealing these up until uh, I went through everybody, so <laughs> that's how we can keep it a little. Okay, that's the only panda I had. So it's that one. And then the goose, number 90, which Barb called number 90, huh? What did Barb call that? Lucy, Lucy Goosey, okay. Lucy Goosey. Is it this one? This is Gracie, I think. That's Gracie. So where's Lucy? Lucy the Goosey. I know it's like, I think it's like a blackish. It has more color to it, if I'm not mistaken. It has more color to it. Boy, this is just entertaining, I bet. Very entertaining. Lucy Goosey, where are you, see? Ah, 
I found it. There's Lucy Goosey. Okay. And that's it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. That will go in a poly mailer. There's a difference between why I'm putting things in poly mailers and why some things I'm putting in the tote bags, and that depends on the weight of them. I measured out the average weight of a Beanie Baby and figured out that uh, how much the shipping would be. All right, so here are all of the Beanie Babies that have been packaged up and they're ready to be shipped out. I just need to put the labels on and close them up. These are all paid and ready to go. So that's that pile. Then we have just a small thing of ones that I'm still waiting to hear back uh, from the people. So they just need to message me. Uh, so we've got one person bought about, I forget how many, I think there's about 18 in there in the box and then just a couple other ones. So not very many that we're waiting on. And then the last pile that I have is right over here and these have been invoiced. I'm just waiting for payment. So yeah, once these are invoiced then they can be shipped out. All right, now we are in my new eBay room. Technically Etsy too, but I am switching to eBay. But we are now in that room, the shipping room, photography room, storage room. And I'm about to get going on these packages here. These are the ones that I already have packaged up. I just need to create the shipping labels. So that's what I'm, I'm about to do. So I'll do that. And then once I'm done with that, I can switch over to the Beanie Babies over here. So that'll be fun, I guess. <laughs> I have to put all these boxes away at some point. My uh, closet over here is pretty much full. I think I went overboard with the bubble wrap and with certain things, but I go through it and I actually use it. So I got, I have to have things. Oh, I just need, I need to order more um, 12 by 12 by eights. Actually, I think I did. I think I have some coming on the way. That's kind of what happened with the bubble wrap. I ordered, I ordered bubble wrap and then Amazon was slow because of, you know, all the stuff that's going on. And then I forgot that I ordered it. And then three weeks later, I ordered it again without checking like, oh, I wonder if I ordered this already. No, I just ordered it again. So now I, I had doubled up my bubble wrap. So that's all right, I guess. Uh, better too much than not enough. And it's not that expensive. But um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get going on this. Ah, I did not mention my shipping tape. It's right here, but unfortunately I cannot use it yet. So this is custom branded shipping tape. I can use it, I guess, but I don't have a gun for it. I was a doofus and ordered tape that's too wide to fit in my gun. So this is a standard two inch shipping tape right here. And then this is three inch. Does, does not fit on the gun. And uh, it doesn't fit obviously in this little cradle thing either. So if I want to use it, I have to hold it by hand and pull it across and then cut it with scissors. And that's just not fun. So I ordered a larger one of these in, in a three inch size so that I can uh, use it. Luckily it was like $12 on eBay with shipping included. So hopefully it'll be here soon so I can use my custom tape. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's get going on these orders. All right, so I just went through and wrote down all of the weights on these boxes. This is the shipping calculate, the shipping scale that I use. I like it because it has the readout like away from the unit itself and it allows whatever room you wanna, like whatever size box you want to put on there. Some of the shipping scales are pretty much like the ones you'd weigh yourself on and they have a readout like on the unit itself. And if your box is any bigger than the unit, then it covers up the display. All right, I am worn out, time for a break. But I went ahead and finished all the Beanie Babies that I had to uh, send out. All of the boxes, like I said earlier, are done. So there's some Beanie Babies there, and then we have a whole bunch right there, and just a couple on top and right there on that 
Polly, Bale, Polly Mailer. But my favorite part's coming up so I can print all my labels. I'm gonna create a scan form and print them all out. So we'll hit print labels. I need to connect my printer right like that. There are 32 labels, I think, <laughs> which is quite a lot, which is why it's taking a while, I guess. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So th yes, 32 labels. I'm going to hit print and we'll hit print one more time and then watch down here. We're going to go right down here. I'm going to click it right now. Here we go. Oh boy, this is fun. Let me, whoa. <laughs> and we'll strip over the boxes. There they go. I'm not going to put these on right now. I'm going to go take a break. It's going to take me another, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe to put all these labels on. 32 packages, which is quite a lot for me. But by the way, it is currently 12 o'clock. So I started doing all this uh, shipping and stuff. I want to say around 9.30, so that's not too bad for getting everything kind of wrapped up. So that tote there is pretty much empty, and I'm still waiting on, I think, five people to pay their invoice, and then like four, four other people to send me their email so that I can send them an invoice. But the vast majority of the babies are sold. And this, this box here, that's all one big... I think there's like 30 something babies in that one. So very nice. All right, so now it's time for lunch and my choices are leftover chili or my last freshly until tomorrow. Hmm, how'd that happen? Anyways, usually, well, I guess I've been eating them every day. Okay, pork, car, whatever, carnitas. I'm actually thinking about chili right now though. And I don't really ever cook, but that turned out really well. Yes, okay, it's gonna be chilly right now. So it is about two days later. I absolutely forgot to finish recording this video. So let's go ahead and proceed. Uh, I don't know how I forgot about it, but <laughs> um, if you're wondering about the Beanie Babies, about 99% of those have been uh, shipped out and paid and everything went well. I think there's only just, just less than five that have not followed through all the way, but that's okay. We did really good on those. So now I am going to go ahead and pull some orders for today. It is Wednesday. So I will start off with Etsy. I have less orders on Etsy, I think. Well, I have, I have a multi-order on Etsy, so that'll take a little bit of, uh, yeah. It's a very cool art deco piece. I bought that at an antique store. I think I paid, oh, what was it? Four or five dollars? Now it does have a chunk missing out of it right there but it's a really interesting inkwell and then you can put your pen right here and it rotates around this comes out your ink goes in there it's just, it's just really neat so I sold that to somebody that sold for $20 with shipping included that's my closeout pricing for this one that was on sale in my Etsy store so uh, yes, my Etsy store is currently on sale right now, so there's lots of deals, and that was a pretty good price. And I'm still going to make some money on it, so that's nice. And, it, you know, like I said, it is chipped. If it wasn't chipped, that'd be a little bit more... I'd have that price a little higher. Now, the next order is a multi-piece, like I said. So let's find the rolling kittens. I love these kittens. They're right here. Oh, those are so cool. And they're just really nicely made. Look at those, they're bone china. Let me bring them by the window where the light's better. So there's a three piece set of them. They're pretty large size too. Let me get the third. There we go. So cute. So that's part of the order. Okay, they also got some kitten figurines, a kitten planter and a turkey planter. So the kitten figurine. So this one right here so that's that kitten figurine and then a kitten planter which is right up here it's gonna be a larger box 
So this kitten planter. And then there was a turkey figurine, or a turkey planter. And that is right here. This might be Morton. Is it Morton? No, it couldn't be. Oh, it is. It's Morton. So that's Morton pottery. Okay, so that, is that everything? Oh no, we need the alligators. Those are in here. I have two salt and pepper shaker bins. So, let's see if they're in this top one. Here they are. So we keep those in there for safekeeping and things can be a little bit more compact and they keep the dust off of them. So we have those, pull those out. They're so cute. I actually paid $5 for these at an antique store because I just thought they were really cute. Look at that face on there. Okay, so that is all of that. All right, so the multi-piece order fit right in this box very nicely. I'll put this over next to the other one on our cart. I love this cart. I bought this at an auction and it came with something else. I don't remember what it came with, but it was like stuff on top of the cart. And basically how it ended up, I got it for free because whatever was on the cart, I was able to sell and make some money on, but I love it. So the next thing we're gonna do is look on eBay. So we did sell some little antique glasses. Let's start with the Oil City, Pennsylvania. It's a ruby flashed mug. It's right here actually. I have all these oh, depression, uh, not depression, early American press glass pieces, very old stuff, interesting. So there we have this little mug right here. We can put that one. And then I have a two piece order, which is oval and dots and the alphabet mug. Yes, I love these two. So I sold the alphabet mug. Has the alphabet and he's like at a desk. And then we sold this one here. Okay, so those went to the same person. Yes, the last order is this bag right here. My no chips, no cracks, just a little crazy. All right, so I just finished up my packages for the day and with that, I will go ahead and wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.